Thursday evening prayer service here at First Presbyterian Church of Morristown. My name is Wes Allen, and I have the joy and privilege of serving as associate pastor here at First Pres, uh, and it is great to be with you as we draw close to our Lord in a time of prayer. Today, we ask the Lord for healing uh, and racial reconciliation throughout our country and throughout the world. And I'd also like us to think about extending uh, that idea of reconciliation uh, beyond just uh, differences between uh, races, but also uh, just differences that we have uh, in our world with our neighbors, with uh, people that we work with. Um, there are opportunities for us uh, to bring reconciliation and healing uh, in our world as we speak the truth of Jesus Christ and the reconciliation that Christ gives and delivers to us uh, through his sacrifice on the cross and resurrection, uh, which reconciles us to God. Friends, that is why we're here, to seek that rec reconciliation in all aspects of our lives. As we get started this evening, our way of the week is number four, always encourage and celebrate. Hear these words. Show gratitude and appreciation by regularly acknowledging the good works you see everywhere. Look for signs of spiritual growth and maturity among members or staff. When you see it, point it out and rejoice. Pass on good reports that you hear about others. Some ways that you can do that, is there somebody uh, at church? Is there uh, somebody in your workplace uh, that you can pass along a note of encouragement? Uh, maybe that's something as simple as a text message, or maybe it uh, means that you're pulling out a note card and uh, handwriting. I know for some, handwriting can be difficult these days. Um, but there's nothing better than getting a handwritten note, uh, letting somebody know uh, how appreciative you are of uh, their work. And so um, let us be a church that encourages those around us and celebrates the great uh, things that they have done and are doing. Friends, let's be a church that always encourages and celebrates.
Our scripture lesson this evening comes from Ephesians chapter 1, starting in verse 15. Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray constantly. Friends, as we gather with this time of prayer, I do want to remind you of a few uh, ways that you can be praying. Uh, please hold Bobby Vogelson and uh, her family in prayer. Uh, Bobby's mom, Mary, uh, passed away earlier uh, this week uh, after about a five-year battle with Alzheimer's. Um, so we are praying uh, for Bobby and uh, her family, uh, Michaela and Margaret. Uh, her daughters, but then also her brothers, Mark and Brian. Hold them in your prayer. I also ask you be praying for the family of Tom Horton. Um, Mr. Horton, or Coach Horton, as uh, I refer to him, uh, was my eighth grade middle school teacher at uh, the King's Christian School. And uh, in high school, he was my baseball coach and uh, a man of, uh, of a great faith, and uh, a great testimony that I believe uh, in many ways inspired uh, me uh, in my faith development. And so uh, uh, I pray with this family uh, as they mourn. Uh, so pray for Tom's wife, Betty, and uh, their two sons, uh, Mike and Doug, uh, and their respective families. Uh, Mr. Horton passed away on Monday uh, after a brief battle with kidney cancer. Um, so we are praying for the Horton family of Haddon Heights. Also want to let you know that Joyce Peacock is on the mend uh, and is back home uh, after having spinal surgery, uh, after experiencing a couple falls. Uh, we've also learned that Evelyn Cannon uh, recently had hip replacement surgery, uh, and she and her husband Thomas um, are in good hands at uh, Cadbury, where they live. And uh, so we pray for Evelyn's uh, full uh, and speedy recovery. Peg Madorno uh, continues to improve after uh, shoulder surgery. Uh, she fell a few weeks ago while attending uh, one of her grandchildren's uh, graduations uh, in Ohio. Uh, it was good to spend time with Peg recently, and uh, we are praying for her full recovery uh, as quickly as possible. And then uh, we ask that you continue to be praying for the people of Haiti, uh, a country that has descended into absolute chaos and anarchy. Uh, so we pray for the Haiti Outreach Mission and other organizations and humanitarian agencies that uh, are trying to work around the clock um, to provide uh, relief and aid uh, to the people of Haiti. Uh, additionally, we're asking for uh, and praying for uh, an end to the war in Ukraine and an end to the war in Gaza and Israel. And uh, we ask the Lord to raise up peacemakers uh, who can bring an end to uh, violence. Uh, and all of this violence um, is just counter to the reconciliation that we see in the gospel. Uh, that when we are reconciled to God, who we are estranged from through sin, we are, um, when we realize that reconciliation, we're called to bring that reconciliation into our lives. We've been reconciled to God, and now we are called to be God's hands and feet through Jesus Christ to bring reconciliation uh, in all relationships, uh, whether that's uh, through racial uh, divides and tensions in our own countries and other places, uh, or uh, cultural uh, and um, ethnic differences in uh, other parts of the world. So friends, let us now turn to our Lord in prayer. Gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the gift of today. And as we enter into this time to uh, pray for racial reconciliation and healing in our land. Uh, Lord, we are reminded of uh, just the hatred and the uh, anger 
that it just consumes uh, our society uh, and our world, Lord. And so today, Lord, we ask rather boldly that peacemakers would be um, identified and that you would raise them up to uh, be voices that can speak uh, to the truth of your love and your desire for us to be reconciled not only to you, uh, but to one another. Lord, bring healing in these places that we've uh, come to you praying for today, Lord. We seek an end to the war and bloodshed in the Ukraine and Russia, Lord. And we pray for uh, peace and for healing in Israel and Gaza, Lord. And we pray that a solution will be identified, that peace will fall on this land, and that these Palestinian men and women and uh, Israeli men and women can find common ground and that they can be uh, united, Lord, as you uh, so desire us to be. Help us to put aside our differences, uh, past wrongs and past hurts, so that we can move forward and forge a new future uh, following you and your will and way in our life. Lord, we also pray for the ongoing uh, chaos that has consumed uh, the small island of Haiti. And Lord, I pray that you will uh, bring an end to the carnage and violence uh, that has uh, proliferated throughout uh, this country. Lord, raise up leaders who can uh, bring an end to the violence. And um, Lord, I pray for peace in this land. Lord, we pray for the ministries like Haiti Outreach uh, and others uh, there that, uh, Lord, I thank you that they've many of them have been able to continue to do their work, uh, but we know it is under uh, extreme uh, duress and uh, chaotic circumstances, Lord. Uh, so may your presence be there. Lord, we pray for those who mourn the loss of loved ones. I especially lift up today Betty, uh, Doug, and Mike. I also lift up Lord Bobby and Margaret and Michaela and Brian, and um, Lord Samara, and uh, Mark, Lord. I pray, Lord, that your peace would uh, penetrate their hearts, bring rest to them as they grieve and mourn the loss uh, of their mom and grandmother. Be with us tomorrow as we celebrate the gift of life and the hope and promise of resurrection in and through you. Lord, we thank you for the good progress reports that we've heard from Evelyn and Joyce and uh, Peg, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you would continue to bring healing to their bodies, uh, encourage them when they feel down or when they are tired or discouraged, uh, Lord, and surround them with the love and comfort and support of your church. Lord, we pray uh, all of these things, knowing that you hear us and love us uh, and deliver us, Lord. So hear us now as we turn to our prayer uh, for reconciliation and healing in our country. To the Father of every family on earth, to Jesus, the great reconciler, to the Holy Spirit, healer of our broken hearts, have mercy. We bow our knees before you. Thank you that in your love you bring sin into light. Forgive us, Lord, as a nation, for the darkness of division and racism that exists in our cities, our neighborhoods, churches, and in our view of one another. Lord, this evening we ask for you to have mercy upon us. Merciful God, carve humility in our souls. Pour the oil of your spirit into our pain, fear, and confusion. Today, I ask, Lord, that you would empower us to move toward each other in compassion with a quickness to listen and honor for the sacredness of every image-bearing human being. Lord, give us courage to boldly uncover oppression and grace to hear each other's pain regarding race relations. We reject both division and denial. We reject the devaluing, Lord, of human life. Father, you've given us the ministry of reconciliation, and we cry out today for your guidance and your steps uh, so that we may follow uh, in your path. 
Thank you for the changes and progress that we certainly see throughout our land. But may we not grow complacent or apathetic uh, to the progress, but see opportunities for continued uh, improvement, transformation, and healing. Lord, I ask that you would lead us not by our own efforts, but by your spirit at work in the life of your church and the believers that comprise it. Lord, awaken humble conversations between neighbors and friends across this country. Wash our relationships with healing. Rebuild trust that has been broken and protect our existing bridges of connection. We join your prayer in John 17, where you say, make us one with each other and with you. Give us the endurance and commitment it takes to do the hard work of true unity. Jesus, the one who knows our humanity, the one who weeps with us, help us to follow you on this narrow road of love. We pray all of these things in the Lord's name and saying together the prayer that Jesus himself taught his disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, now go in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Go seeking to bring reconciliation into relationships in your workplaces, in church, in your homes, in life. Bring the reconciliation that Christ has given to us through his cross and resurrection in all facets and areas of your life. Go in peace and service. Go grow in God's kingdom. Amen. Your mercy has saved my soul.